V3 family of crossbows demonstration video. So just a little bit of background here that the V2 trigger, which you can see here, perfectly good trigger, but it doesn't really work well for bolts that are less than about nine millimeter diameter. And the reason for that is because it is a notch design. While notch designs are very strong, they do sometimes have problems with narrow bolts and the string skipping over the bolt, going under the bolt, um, or just doing weird things like spinning the bolt on the rail. Um, and so that's what facilitated the design of this new V3 trigger. Mini rifle crossbow with homemade lightweight bolt. mini rifle crossbow with Gorg bolt. Mini hand crossbow with standard size bolt. Hand crossbow with standard size bolt. So this is the new V3 trigger, which was mostly designed for being able to use the six millimeter fiberglass bolts. You can see me working the Axon here in this video. It's just a simple two-piece trigger with teeth that go down into the rail. And here's a demonstration of the locking Axon. You pull the string back and then you do have to manually hit that lever. There is no auto lock. So the upside of this trigger, which you can see very shortly in this video, right there. So when the string is locked down, the bolt can rest right on the string, like so. And normally we have a bolt cat in place above there to hold the bolt in place. I've just removed that for the sake of this demonstration video. Once again, loading like, like so. And then when you pull the trigger, those teeth are going to slip back under the rail and the string is going to go forward like so. And so, again, there's no danger of the string missing the bolt, going under, or jumping above the bolt, um, making the bolt do something weird like flip around um, as it's coming off the rail, but there's really only one way that that string can go, and that's forward. So here's one with the bolt cat in place. And again, the only real trick of loading this crossbow is that once you pull back the string, before releasing it, you've got to use your thumb or something to hit that lever. <laughs> 